So it was 10 years and nine days ago today that I stood on this very stage, one that looks very like it anyway, it's this room. I gave a talk called C++ Extension Methods. Maybe some of you remember it. Now, this talk was never recorded and it's the only time I ever gave it. So I thought about doing it again sometime. <clears throat> but just recently, something happened that got me thinking about it again. So I'm not gonna do the whole talk now, but I'm gonna recap the essential points and then give you something new. So what was it about? So you may remember extension methods from languages like C Sharp have this feature where you can effectively reopen a class and give it new methods or member functions a bit later. Many fun uh, languages have this feature now, but not C++, or does it? Well, consider this syntax. We're all familiar with this. You've got a pointer to an object and you want to call a member function on it, use this arrow operator. We're all familiar with this, we've got it from C. What if you could do this? and use the left arrow operator, and that this would bind to something new. Well, we can't do something like that in C++. Can we? Well, let's take this class, uh, widget, called it, and if you derive from this extendable base class, which is a CRTP template, means you pass the derived type down to the template argument. Don't need to do that in C++23, but I haven't updated these slides for 10 years. And then, if you want to add a new member function, you put it in a new class or strat, which itself derives from ext method, also CRTP, and you put the body of the function in a call operator. And if you do that, you can then use the left arrow operator to call that member function. It's like magic. So what, what wizardry is this? Well, this is actually all the code. You could do with some modernization. <laughs> So it's actually two operators, the unary minus operator and the left hand operator working together to create the illusion of a single operator. So really it's just a big hack and you definitely shouldn't do this in your own code. And if you do, don't put my name to it. And that was basically the conclusion of my talk 10 years ago. But there's a, a feature that's been banded around the C++ community for some time now called universal, sorry, uniform function call syntax. It has a long history going back, as you can see, to 2004, if you can read that. Um, and it's more general than extension methods. This also gives you the ability to call a member function using member function syntax or free function syntax. Many proposals in that space have been tried over the years with different variations, but they all have one thing in common. They all failed. So when a new proposal came out recently in the same space again, the question was obviously asked, what's different about this proposal? What does this proposal have that those other ones didn't have? Actually, that's the wrong question. It should be, what does this proposal not have that the other ones did? Well, we'll get to that. But let's just see how it works first of all. Let's take our example of the widget class. We want to add a, a member function to it. Now, before I go on, I just want to recap friend functions. We're familiar with friend functions, put the friend keyword there, and then the free function has access to the private members of, of a class. Nothing new there. Although this has an interesting property, if it's all within the body of the class, it can only be found using argument-dependent lookup, which means that, um, well, you get uh, smaller error messages and the compiler does less work. Quite a nice feature called hidden friends. That's not what this talk is about. Now, C++23 introduced a new feature called um, explicit object syntax, which lets you put the this keyword in front of an argument and that becomes the explicit this parameter rather than the implicit this pointer. Really nice feature, opens up lots of things, that's not what this talks about either. But this proposal says, what if you use both those keywords? The friend keyword and explicit object syntax. And this is now new novel syntax, never been uh, possible before, so there's no backwards compatibility issues, which is what sunk all those previous proposals. And then you can call a member function using member function syntax, or free function syntax for the same result. So, not exactly C++ extension methods, but it may be part of uni uniform function call syntax that we might actually stand a chance of getting. So I think that's, that's a worthwhile direction. Thank you very much, see you in 10 years. <laughs>